welcome back to another video today. We'll take a look at the Kugo Krin S1 Pro electric scooter. My first experience with an electric scooter and it hasn't disappointed. <laughs> Okay, we're out testing the Kugo Krin. This is the Kugo Krin S1 Pro there. Budget, but still got good spec scooter. It's really impressive. We've got a 30 kilometer range and we've got a 19 mile an hour top speed. Oh yeah, he's got cruise control. I've just figured out we can get cruise control on this thing. No way. So yeah, the, the battery is pretty good. It's a 36 volt battery, 350 watt hub motor in this. And it does go 19 miles an hour on this scooter is pretty quick. I tell you what, I'm really impressed with the speed of it and it handles really well. The ride is good. It's only got single suspension on the back of this um, to soak up some of the bumps. Yeah, you've, it's cruise control, that's what it is. Yeah, I just did it, I was like, oh yeah. Other things this scooter's got is front headlights, which is really bright. It's got a rear light on it as well. You, you double tap the power button to put the lights on. And it's got an LCD screen on here, which really helps with setting the modes, the power assistance, turning the light on and off, and setting that cruise control, which is a really good feature. I really like the electric double brake system. You've got the foot brake to back you up, but the electric brake, so you've got accelerator on the right hand side for your accelerator to go, and then you've got the brake with your left hand thumb. Really quite powerful, works very well. If you are on a steep hill, then you might want to use a foot brake at the back, so you've got double braking system, and I really like that feature of this scooter. Okay, so essential for the UK is waterproofness as well. It's not waterproof, but it's water resistant, IP45. So if you're out in a storm or you're out in the rain, it's not gonna absolutely ruin this scooter. It's really good that it's got that. Uh, it's essential for the UK. You really do need um, the weatherproofness. It's comfortable, it's got puncture proof tires. They're like rubber with like a honeycomb effect in them rather than having pneumatic tires. Really does handle really well as well. It's really comfortable. I would like a little bit of a bigger deck on here. I've got size 12 feet and it's a bit of a squeeze, but apart from that, it feels comfortable. You've got a TPU rubber cover on the deck, which is nice and comfortable. Uh, yeah, just, it feels good. I don't want to go over this speed bump. Whoa, oh no. <laughs> say a lot of the riding shots were filmed with the Insta360 ONE X2. Fantastic camera for any kind of action sports. At the moment they're running a sale where they've got discounts site-wide and if you purchase through the link below you'll get a free gift as well. For instance they're giving a free battery away with the new Insta360 ONE RS so don't miss that out. It's running till about the 4th of June I do believe so make sure you check out the link in the description down below. So it can handle inclines of 15% that's what they claim. I have found that that's the only downfall of this particular scooter. Let's turn around again. The 350 watts is more than powerful enough if you're on the flat. It's going to propel you 90 miles an hour, like I said. Really is quick. It, this, it's loads, loads quick enough when you're on a scooter. Um, but yeah, the only thing it does struggle with is hills. And in my particular area, we've got a few hills. And I did have to give it some sort of push assistance going up some hills when I was doing a ride earlier. But if you've got a flat commute, for 250 pounds in the UK, this thing is an absolute bargain.
So the features it's got, it's foldable. You've got this switch here that uh, you just switch down, folds up. It's 13 and a half kilograms, so it's pretty portable. It's not by any means light, but it is pretty portable. It's got three speed modes, one for 12 kilometers an hour, one for 20 and one for 30. So you can set it depending on sort of the environment you're in and whatever sort of mode you want to ride it, depending on your experience level as well. I really do like these 8 inch honeycomb tyres we've got on here, nice and smooth ride as well. Overall, really like it. This is my first experience with an electric scooter and we're definitely going the way of electric scooters. The government want us to reduce on our carbon footprint and this is a perfect way to do that. And I've actually heard that they're going to be made legal over the next few months in the UK with some restrictions but you will be able to ride these on UK roads very soon. So going scooter is Oh. <laughs> Before I was rudely interrupted by the camera falling over, yeah, that's the way to go. This is going to be made legal really, really soon in the UK. They're changing all the laws. And uh, yeah, so that's the way to go in personal electric transport. I think scooters are probably the safest version. Electric skateboards are really good. Electric bikes, obviously, are really, really safe. But scooters, next best thing, and really cheap at 250 in the UK. It's a fantastic option, this one from Kugo Korean, and this is their cheapest model. There are other models. I'll link everything in the description down below for you to go and check them out. Really impressed with it so far. So. The Kugo Korean S1 Pro, amazing, budget friendly as well, electric scooter. As I was saying previously in the video, we're definitely moving towards this electric revolution in this country especially. They're asking us to cut down on our carbon footprint to reduce the amount of cars on the roads and this is definitely one of the ways forward. It is going to be made legal very very soon with some restrictions on where you can ride it and the fact that you've got to wear a helmet so always be safe, always wear a helmet when you're riding your scooter especially out on the public roads. So definitely the way forward for personal transport and with this electric scooter from Kugo Korean, it's an amazing value one at the moment on the on the website I'll link it in the description down below it's 250 pounds now this is not a sponsored video that is not an affiliate link it's just a link to their website genuinely I've been using this for a few weeks now and I really think it's fantastic value for money if you're somebody that lives in London for instance and you get the tube in then you've got a flat commute down the embankment this is just a brilliant option okay that's it for this video thanks for tuning in i hope it helped you make some kind of decision if you're thinking about pulling the trigger on one of these scooters go and check them out in the link below like i said please do make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads tech uploads every single week so stay tuned i look forward to seeing you in the next video until next time see you soon bye guys